I uh, received a phone call this morning, and it was from the U.S. District Court Criminal Division, and they were calling to tell me that apparently they were about to swear out a warrant for my arrest. And I went, oh, uh, okay. And they said, am I speaking with James Stickley? And I said, yes, you are. And then they read off my home address, and I said, okay. And they said, so here's the deal. Apparently, you had been summoned for jury duty and you did not appear. And I went, oh, I don't, I don't remember getting summoned for jury duty, but oh, okay. And they said, yes, and because you didn't appear, legally, they're now going to swear out a warrant for my arrest. And I went, all right. And I went, so uh, that's, that's a bummer. And they said, yeah, but here's the deal. Because we've got you on the phone, we can now just go ahead and reschedule your jury duty and by doing that, we won't have to swear out this warrant for your arrest. And I went, well, it's all working out for me. And they said, yeah. So they said, okay, so here's the deal. Uh, we need to confirm, first of all, that we are truly talking with James Stickley. And I went, okay, bring it on. And they said, so what's your uh, birthday was the first thing they asked me. What's my birthday? And I went, oh, it's January 27th, 1993. And they said, fantastic. And of course, that's not, that's not my birthday. But... It didn't really matter because these people were clearly not the U.S. government and this was all just a scam. And so I just told them that and they said, okay, and then we also just need to confirm that you're, you know, who you are. So we need to confirm your social security number. And I went, oh, of, co of course you do. Yeah. So I said, all right, you know, 511-271136 or whatever other social security number. I just made something up, threw out some random numbers till I got to nine. And, uh, and they made like clicky sounds. You know, like they're typing on their computer or something and they go all right fantastic we've confirmed that you are uh james stickley so what we're doing is we're updating our records right now and we're going to schedule your new thing and you'll receive something in the mail in the next week or two and i went all right thank you very much and they said no thank you have a nice day and they hung up and uh and that was it and i was thinking man that was a really good scam like i mean what a great job right i mean like Basically, it's quick. It's to the point. They've got that fear factor of, oh, my gosh, there's going to be a warrant sworn out for my arrest. Um, it was just really simple. And uh, I can see why someone would fall victim to this scam. So anyway, it was just one of those things that I was kind of amused this morning. I thought I'd share it with everybody just so you're aware that scammers are still scamming uh, even during COVID time. So if you get a call and they claim to be from the government saying that they're gonna swear out a warrant for your arrest because you didn't sign up for jury duty or you didn't attend jury duty, just know it's it's not real. They're, they're not doing that. The government doesn't reach out to you and do those types of things. Plus they, they got bigger fish to fry right now. So anyway, that's all I got.